Moving out of your parents' house is a major milestone in life that most of you watching will eventually end up doing or have already done. If you already have, great! And if you haven't, well, what are you waiting for, dude? Get on that! Because the earlier you move out, the earlier you have freedom to do cool stuff. Like sitting quietly in your room making YouTube videos. Since I started working a full-time adult job that's about a two-hour commute away from my parents' house, we thought that it would be best for me to move somewhere closer to shorten the drive. I think it was pretty apparent that my general health was declining from waking up at 4.30 a.m. every morning. But aside from that, I just wanted to be independent, in charge of my own destiny, and away from my parents. I mean, living with my parents at the age of 25 was cool and all, but it wasn't. Sure, there are some positives about living with your parents, like free rent, free food, and free love and affection from the people who raised you, but there are also some negatives, like not being able to chat with your friends on Discord at 1am without your mom telling you to keep it down. Anyway, now that I live in this new house, I thought it'd be cool to update my channel aesthetic to reflect the change, which is why you see all this now. I mean, just check out this new TV. I can use it to put up anything I want, like this, or this, and I can even put up this sponsored segment. That's right, this video has been sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is an epic, action-packed, free-to-play RPG game. It's got boss fights, hundreds of champions to play with, and a great storyline to keep you wanting to play more and more. I'm personally enjoying collecting champions, since the majority of them have pretty good plot, if you know what I mean. Build the best team to absolutely destroy your opponents in PvE and online PvP. Check this guy out, he only has one champion. No way he's gonna beat my squad of four. Oh, oh, oh okay, never mind. I, I got bodied. You can even challenge yourself to the edge in ongoing tournaments. Compete against the entire raid community while fighting the Spider's Den, Ice Golem's Peak, the Almighty Fire Knight, and even the Notorious Dragon. This month, you'll be able to compete in the brand new arena tournament, and you can earn points according to your tier and win awesome rewards in the local and global tournaments. And the best part is, Raid Shadow Legends is free to play and available for both mobile and PC. You can find me in the game under the nickname Billy But Better, and if you're quick, you can even join my epic clan. So what are you waiting for? Click the special links in the video description below and new players will get 100,000 silver and a free epic champion, the Grumbler. All this treasure will be waiting for you here in the game, but it's only available for the next 30 days. So don't wait. Good luck and I'll see you there. <clears throat> That was weird. Alright, back to the video. What I've learned so far living on my own is that there's a lot more peace and quiet for you to explore your inner thoughts. You tend to start noticing your own personal quirks and habits that you either become motivated to change or learn to accept. Hmm, getting kind of fat. I should exercise more. Oh gosh, it's really late. I should fix my sleep schedule. Wow, I haven't left the house for weeks. I should really go outside. Just kidding, we're in quarantine. This is a process that I like to call discovering your true self. For example, are you a bagel bites every night kind of person? Or do you take the time and effort to actually cook a well-balanced meal? Are you a dirty laundry all over the floor for weeks kind of person? Or are you a I can wear this again without people noticing kind of person? Since your parents aren't there to tell you to brush your teeth, pay your bills, or do the dishes, you have to decide when to do that. And the level at which you are able to perform these tasks and stay on top of everything in your life ultimately determines how responsible you are as a person. From the couple months I've been living on my own, I don't know, I think I'm a pretty clean and responsible person. And even though my mom would say otherwise, I would always tell her, trust me mom, it could be way worse. There are people who wear their shoes on carpet. Don't compare yourself to those people. You see, I grew up in a house that had white carpet, AKA the flooring option with the highest difficulty level for keeping clean. Obviously, my parents did not allow people to wear shoes on the carpet because if they did, it would get ruined. It's not that hard of a concept, people. So when I found out that there are actually people who do wear their shoes on carpet, I was disgusted. As for my diet, I'd like to think that I have a pretty decent one considering I usually try to include a healthy balance of protein, veggies, and carbs in most of my meals. I realize saying that makes me sound like I'm some kind of health guru, but in reality, I'm just super cheap. Do you know how much money I save by keeping my shopping list strictly limited to eggs, frozen vegetables, and rice? Okay, that's not all I eat. There's also instant ramen. At 25 cents a bag, I'd say it's pretty healthy. For my wallet. My friend on the other hand, I'm just gonna call her Nicki Minaj, is more of a why cook when I can order food on my phone and have it delivered to me in 30 to 40 minutes kind of person. Now that sounds nice and all, but my problem with doing that is if I did, I would only ever order the really good tasting foods, which are generally more unhealthy and generally more expensive than just cooking at home. 
Which brings me to my next point. When you live by yourself, you have to learn how to manage your own finances. Between utility bills, grocery shopping, rent, and personal spending, most of the money that you make won't even end up staying in your own bank account. Hmm, should I buy this new video game or pay for my electricity bill? Oh, dang it. If you have trouble saving money, if you don't know why your bank account never seems to be growing, I have the solution. Just make more money. Either that or be happy with what you have. Whichever one is easier for you to swallow. So spend some time, scroll through your statements, and ask yourself, did I really need to buy that life-size cardboard cutout of Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Okay, maybe that's not the most relatable example, but you get the idea. Living on your own, you do start learning how to appreciate the little things in life, though. Like how much better your life can be by owning a high-quality non-stick frying pan. Which reminds me. I have to tell you guys my stove story. Okay, so on the day I moved into my new place, my dad and I were installing blinds on the windows while my mom was in the kitchen making us some lunch. And for like a solid 15 minutes, all I can hear from the kitchen upstairs was, Aya, Aya. Uh, is everything all right up there, mom? The stove no work. Now at first, I thought my mom was just having a boomer moment, like maybe she just didn't understand how LCD displays work or something. But when I went up and tried it, I couldn't figure it out either. For like another half an hour, mom, Either we're stupid, or the stove is broken. And honestly, I think we might be stupid. So I called the customer service number of the company who made the stove. They didn't pick up, obviously. I kept trying for like another 10 minutes, and at last, I finally caved and, ugh, read the instruction manual. I'm a man, gosh darn it. I don't read instruction manuals. Reading through the manual, I came across a word I've never seen before in context with kitchen stoves, the word induction. And then I looked over to the corner of the stove, and once again, I saw the word induction. You see, this stove was a special stove. It was an induction stove. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's okay. Neither did I. An induction stove is a stove that requires special magnetic cookware to be placed on top of it in order for the stove to turn on. What's next? My microwave's gonna need to scan my face just to heat up my burrito? So since we didn't have any magnetic cookware, we had to drive all the way to Costco, buy a magnetic frying pan, then drive all the way back just so we can cook some eggs. And the worst part was, despite the package saying that it was a non-stick pan, it stuck. A lot. So I ended up having to buy another non-stick frying pan off of Amazon, and this time it was actually good. And yeah, that was my stove story. Probably wasn't that interesting, to be honest. But in conclusion, moving out and living on your own is great. You have all the freedom in the world to make your own decisions, learn more about yourself, and figure out who you really are as a person. And as long as you don't shove all your responsibilities out of the window just because you can now, you'll do just fine. Probably. Wow, look at me, uploading more than one video in a year. Maybe one day I can stop making these bad upload schedule jokes and have some real consistency. <laughs> That'll be the day. Anyway, I hope you guys like this new format that I used in this video. I'm going for more of an animated vlog feeling now instead of just me saying random things from the void. The cool part is that the animation is kind of rigged up in a way that'll hopefully allow me to make videos a little bit faster, but no promises. <laughs> I hope you guys are all staying safe indoors. I know it's kind of crazy out there, but it'll be crazier if you were dead. Okay? Okay. Be better. Oh yeah, and download Raid Shadow Legends.